Welcome back. All right, now you need to get ready to sip. You look thirsty. You need some because sipping down lemonade out in Gibsonburg is happening this weekend. It's all for a great cause. You want to know why? I'm going to tell you this afternoon. I have with me the village administrator, Mark Glatzbecker, as well as Sophia Bross. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. Of course. Now we're talking about the great big Gibsonburg lemonade stand. Now, Sophia, I feel like you're the expert in all of this. We'll let Mark talk later. Tell me about the lemonade stand. What are you selling? I'm selling a uh, regular lemonade, mm -hmm. um, lavender. Um, it's like a, um, it's a new trend going on. Um, I'm also selling strawberry lemonade, but it's like um, also like a type of flavor. Okay. Um, and I'm also selling um, uh, fruit cups and candy kebabs. My goodness, the woman entrepreneur after my own heart. I'm loving the food. Now, Mark, why is this important? Why are we doing this? How did this start? So <laughs> a, a few years ago, um, we were joking at, at City Hall that uh, we, we just can't go out and about in the community and, and drive past the lemonade stand and not stop and partake in the goodness. Uh, so we came up with the idea, what if we bring all the lemonade stands together under one place for one day? Uh, so that's how we came up with the great big Gibsonburg lemonade stand. Um, and it's, it's grown you know, incredibly since the first year and it's, it's just so much fun. And the kids are so talented and so creative, it's amazing. Now, Sophia, uh, how many times have you done this, or is this your first time? Uh, I have been doing this for three years now. Oh, the woman's an expert. Watch out. Um, what is your favorite part when you sell? My favorite part is probably making the money and giving, <laughs> yeah, making the money <laughs> and um, probably just, um, it's probably just making money <laughs> and <laughs> giving people um, the choice that they have and like whatever they want, they can have. I love that. Because again, you said lav lavender, normal, strawberry, fruit kebabs, you got it all. It's a, it, so the variety, when you watch these, I assume it's mostly just children, unless there's all adults? Ch all children. Okay, so yeah. it's all children, all children who are these fancy entrepreneurs. Um, how does it feel to like watch this come to life? And how long has this been going on? So this will be the third year for the event. Okay. Um, we're looking at right now about 40, between 40 and 50 separate stands under the big top. Nice. Um, the amazing thing is, is that any of the money that the kids raise, I mean, there's no fee at all for them to participate. Uh, any of the money that they raise, uh, it, it's all theirs. Uh, you'll, see, you'll see kids um, raising money for sports camps, uh, for a charity that touches their family, uh, for a new bike, for vacation money. You know, what it, it's theirs. Uh, and, you know, quietly, it's summer vacation, but, but quietly we're trying to teach them about responsibility, communication, uh, math, and economics. I mean, we don't want to, like, put that out there because it's summer vacation. We don't want to spoil it for them. But, you know, there's an underlying lesson involved with it all. Sophia, he tricked you. He got you. He's gotten you for the last three years. How do you feel? Mm, good. <laughs> um, so for other kids who may be thinking about this, because I'm sure it's too late now, but for next year. So, so we'll still take reservations. Oh. Uh, they can call the Village of Gibsonburg City Hall uh, by 12 o'clock tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll set them up with a spot under the big top for Saturday. Uh, it'll show up Saturday morning at 8. They can begin setting up. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce of Sandusky County will be with us at 10 o'clock. Uh, we do a ribbon cutting because, I mean, that's what you do with a new business. Naturally. We blow off the confetti cannons, uh, and we're open from 10 to 2. Anything in terms of advice? Now, granted, you're working with your competitors, Sophia, but they're also still friends. What are some good tips you should definitely give somebody in terms of what's a good saleswoman, good salesman? Um, if you want to sell, you can start selling, like, uh, toys that you do not want anymore or, like, stuffed animals. And you can also like sell anything your your mind gets to. Um, my choice would be candy or like um, you could pick like any type of thing you want. You could do plants, toys, stuffed animals, or anything you want. This woman is out here selling you. She's going to sell ice cubes to folks in Alaska. Watch out. It's happening. Um, so is there anything else you want to make sure that we mention? Because this sounds like a, a lot of fun and there's really no limits. It's all about learning, um, but like having fun at the same time. Yeah. We, um, again, the, the kids are so amazing and so creative. And we just invite everyone to come out and, and check out our young people. Um, you'll, you'll walk away with a smile on your face, uh, a few less dollar bills in your pocket, an yeah. uh, armful of good stuff. <laughs> Uh, and just a, just a newfound respect for our young people. 
Okay. Well, if you are interested, the question is, we've got us. Let's do it one more time. Run through it. What time? Where? When? How much money should I have? Is it all cash? Do I need to do Venmo? Give me the details. So, so it'll be this Saturday, uh, the 13th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Williams Park in Gibsonburg. Uh, surprisingly, some of the kids do have uh, some Venmo and Square set up. Nice. Most of it is cash <laughs> transactions. Um, but it's just an amazing time. And again, we invite everyone to come out. And of course, more information, you see the number right there at the bottom of your screen. If you think your kiddo definitely wants to still join, be a Sophia, earn that money, do things. Look at that smile, you can't knock it. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. That event is gonna happen on Saturday. You definitely wanna check it out.